Hello. Should you buy a inexpensive 40 watt laser cutter? They are priced around four to five hundred dollars in most times that include shipping. By the way, I'm Ryan, hacking things my whole life. It's great to see you here. It's a rainy Sunday outside here in Raleigh, North Carolina. So I had a chance to check out the Monoport 40 watt laser and I was really pleased with what I saw. The components were really, really well built. It was packaged extremely well. There was absolutely no damage. The case is very, very hard, sturdy metal. The CO2 is nicely tucked in the back. It's not exposed like the Glowforges and some other ones, but there's definitely one there. A little word of warning though, Understand that as soon as you turn, turn it on, you need to have the pump circulate to, to cool down that CO2 tube. The door could have used a, just a little bit of a hydraulic um, added to it. Maybe that's something that you can add. But for four to $500 with what it comes with, which is the vent, the tube, you get um, light firm capability, the ability to just hook through a USB right to your computer and create things. You would be able to create items wherever you are, the bazaar, the flea market, or anything else. You could custom make your blanks, your, and then you could go ahead and etch names in at that location. Now, one of the great things about this machine versus the other machine is that you don't, you've got protection from the laser. So for instance, if you were to um, take a diode laser to a festival or a fair, you're going to have people staring at that laser and they're going to have to put glasses on. So if you want a portable machine to take to a bazaar or a festival or any type of flea market, this is a really good bargain for, for the price point. I really, really like the way that the the instructions were done. I like the fact that it's light berm capable, so that's a the, the go-to software for laser cutters. And I really, really like the build quality, and I think that you could, the way that the CO2 tube was protected in the back, you could easily move this around as long as you lock the gantry. I just love the way that lasers shot with those mirrors. And of course, based on packaging and stuff like that, you're going to have to align the lasers, and that's just part of the nature of this. So if you really want a turnkey machine, of course, or something like the Glowforge, I I haven't had a chance to take a look at the the X tool yet, but um, as far as a CO2 laser, this was a really really good value for the price. Now, in terms of longevity and stuff like that, I really can't answer that. So, if you have one and you're not really happy after using it for a while, please share that in the comments below. But anyways, uh, that's it, guys. I, I if you want a portable machine that you can actually take to bazaars and use once you solve the water cooling issue that comes off the back, just put a smaller reservoir with the little pump. I think you have a sure winner for a mobile uh, CO2 laser. All right, peace out.